Hello friends, welcome to Lyndon Linthicum United Methodist Church. It snowed this week. I think that's wonderful. It has been two years since we've had any measurable snow and we finally had some and it was beautiful and I have just loved it. It's mighty cold, that's true, but it's so beautiful. Uh, my youngest dog, Mercy, got to play in snow for the first time and, and I'm not sure that Glory, who's only four, remembers. So they were having a great time and it was just fun and it's beautiful and I love it. I know that not everybody feels that way. I saw a post that actually Mary from our congregation put up in Facebook and she said basically, and I can't quote it exactly, but it said that um, you can like the snow or you can hate the snow, you can want to be in it or not, but either way there's going to be the same amount of snow. So it's up to you how you think about it. And then I uh, heard, saw another post by a friend of mine who's a teacher. She's a phys ed teacher, a very active woman, and she said, uh, you know, I don't really like snow. I don't love winter. She's very much a summer person. I know that. She said, but you know what? This is so beautiful. And I had an unexpected snow day and some time with my family and it was quiet and peaceful uh, outside. And so she was like finding a way to make that something that she would love. And I was thinking that she was living into the scripture. Uh, a scripture that I really have appreciated for a very, very long time. And it's from 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 5, and this is verse uh, 17 through 19. It says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in every situation, because this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Don't suppress the Spirit. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in every circumstance, circumstance or every situation because this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. It's always been important to me to note that it doesn't say give thanks for every circumstance. You might not be thankful for everything that happens in your life. Some things are just really, really hard. But what it says in this scripture, and it's why it's been so important to me, is to give thanks in every circumstance. There is always something for which to thank God. Like my friend, the teacher, who said, I'm thankful for a snow day and some time with my family and the quietness outside because of the snow. She was finding a way to live into a season that is not her natural habitat. I don't know what's going on in your life and in your world, but I'm sure there are some things for which you are having a hard time giving thanks, that that particular thing is not something you wanted to have happen, not something you would have looked for, but here it is. And what scripture says is to pray continually. Don't forget that part that came ahead of the other part. To pray continually, to rejoice always, to rejoice for something, to pray continually and to give thanks in every circumstance, not for every circumstance, because this is God's will for us in Christ. Something to remember on a snowy day. Amen.